G'day guys and welcome to the final video of the ESL1 Cologne 2016 Team Pikmin Fantasy Team Challenge. Yesterday we got 100%. Um, my YOLO pick on Liquid paid off in the end. Um, I really only picked Liquid because I didn't think I was in with a shot for gold. Um, however, Liquid came out on top. Simple played really well, um, especially on, I think it was, where was it? Yeah, that map on, on Cache, he played particularly well on Cache there, and um, he did pretty well on Coldstone. Uh, Fallen did pretty good on Mirage, as well as Cold Zera, and um, Cold Zera did really, really well on, on Nuke, so if you picked uh, Cold Zera in your fantasy team, you, you would have got a lot of points out of that one. And uh, on Cobblestone, of course, Cold Zera and Fallen came out on top. Um, so, oops, going back to the team pickems, who I'm going to pick for today. Um, it's a pretty tough choice. Um, in my eyes, I reckon Liquid have the passion. Um, they have the hunger and definitely the firepower at the moment. But, um, geez, SK Gaming, uh, I think they can outclass them just at all regards as far as teamwork goes. Um, they did come up with uh, a lot of different options against Virtus Pro. Um, in the one game that I watched on Cobblestone, uh, Cobblestone last night before I had to go to bed, um, being in Australia, it's um, it, it's about midnight, 11:30 where I am for when the first game actually starts. Uh, so, yeah, I generally try and get one one to two games in if I can. Um, but yeah, from what I saw, um, BP were on top for a lot of the Cobblestone, and SK just came back in the end. Um, so, long story short, we're gonna go with. SK to win. Um, I need 10 points, or 11 points rather, to get the gold. So I think you get one point for, you know, obviously picking, and then you get the 10 points there for the correct picks. So if I get it right, I will get the gold trophy. Uh, looking at my mates, um, yesterday's picks obviously pulled me through. I'm, you know, now topping my friends' list, which is good, especially KB. Um, so, moving on to the fantasy team, so yesterday, I didn't put Simple in the team. Had I put Simple in the team, um, I probably would have got closer to, you know, maybe 400 odd points, maybe 420 if I put Simple, I mean, on Simple, I put uh, Fallen in for Sniper, I probably might have only got another 20 or 30 points, if that. So, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with my JDM pick, Nitro's KD. Um, at it from yesterday, um, really pulled him down, so 13 and 18, 21 and 20, or 20 and 21 rather, and um, he didn't obviously get the third game where SK and Virtus Pro did go to the third game, so he would have got a few more points um, based on that. So, um, I haven't got all the, all the um, stickers for for SK Gaming, so we're going to have to go with a bit of a split here. Um, I picked a bunch of people that didn't really pay off for me throughout the tournament, but um, we're going to start with our Sniper. Um, it's pretty hard to pick Snipers. I mean, at the moment, Coldzera and Fallen are sharing the sniping, Sniper rolls whenever they get the double all set up. So when we, we look at uh, the teams for the Snipers, uh, we will see that... Colzera and Fallen. Don't want sniper kills locked on anymore. Sorry about this. Uh, s s Fallen and Colzera are very close. So Colzera's got 45 sniper kills, and Fallen has got 74. So they're running a double off setup fairly frequently. So, and then we look at the likes of JDM, who's got 100, who exclusively orbs. Based on the fact that I think that SK are going to hold it over um, over Liquid, I think there's not going to be too many opportunities for JDM to AWP and AWP successfully, so I'm going to go with Fallen um, for my Sniper. Um, I wish we could pick Cold Zero three times because he can actually convert the rolls uh, qu quite well for, you know, clutches, KD for your, um, for your Commando. And uh, he can top uh, pistol kills as well. Um, however, we're going to go with simple for our pistol kills. I've got to pick simple for something. I mean, you've got to have simple in your team. 
uh, irrespective of win or lose, I think. I think he generates a lot of points, whether he can be a commando or, or whether it be an entry fragger or, or eco warrior. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm going to put him as my eco warrior, uh, not my entry fragger. Um, so that leaves us with commando. So uh, I'm going to go with cold zero for that. Um, my entry fragger is going to be, well, I'm not going to pick a leash. Um, geez, the leash's KD is actually better than Burr's overall. He's played more games. But he had, oh, no, nah, I'm still going to stick with Burr. I'm going to go with Burr instead of a leash for that. Um, and my clutch king. Oh, this one's going to be tough. Clutches. Who we got for team wise? Team wise for clutches. Well, they're all pretty stacked. Simple, I guess you could pick for that. But then you'd be missing out on his pistol kills. But you, I guess you could pick a leash for the pistol kills if you wanted to. JDM, no. Uh, as much as I believe, I don't believe. <laughs> if, if you know what I mean. Um, <coughs> this is tough. I actually might swap Nitro in for uh, Eco Warrior. Move simple to Command or oh, Clutch King. I mean, Eco would be the pick out of all these if he could. I mean, I just I, I spent 50 bucks on this tournament, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to obviously spend any more money. So I'm going to go with simple um, for my Clutch King. I think that's probably the only real way I'm going to work this um, with the choices and stickers that I have. Um, uh, had I been more, you know, forward thinking with SK going to win on the, on the fantasy side of things, um, or generating more points, I probably would have picked up a, a taco or an FNX sticker probably two days ago. Um, but however, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Cold Zero for my commando. Clutch King going to be simple. Eco Warrior going to be Nitro. Bird's going to be my entry, and Fallen's going to be my sniper. And um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have done well throughout the tournament. Uh, actually, before I go, I will mention that I, I did drop 10% yesterday, which is the first time I've ever seen that happen. So we were at 24% um, in contention for a comfortable bronze trophy, but you know because of yesterday's bad choices, I ended up dropping 10%. So there we go. Overall, 1,300 points there. So. Um, I need to make up a lot of ground today, so, alright, so that's the end of this video, I hope you guys have had better success than what I've had throughout this tournament, um, good luck with your picks, and um, I'll see you at the next tournament.